Brilliant. A new lesson here, a short one. It's an introduction lesson for Leonardo da Vinci and the Mona Lisa, the most famous portrait in the world. Painted during, check this out, I'm going to write it up here real quick. The Renaissance. Renaissance. Okay, so this was painted in Florence, Italy. That's a city in Italy. In about 1505. Okay. Okay. C means about circa. Okay. By Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. So there's some things I want you to notice about it. So we're going to come over here. What I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to fold it into four sections. Okay. Fold it in half and then in half again. And the first thing we're going to do is draw four ovals All right, and then we're going to draw two of the same kinds of faces we're going to draw in here two happy faces that should look exactly alike and we're going to draw two sad faces or frowns. Now this is not a lesson a student told me. Is this a counseling session where we're going to discuss emotions? No, not really. Okay, but that's, that's kind of funny. So check this out real quick. These faces look alike. I messed up my oval a little bit over here, but it's okay. Let's add some noses on here to get it to be look more like a face. I'm going to change, do the nose exact same on this one, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Watch this. I'm going to put these eyebrows going up a little bit up towards the center, right? Okay, same face. I'm gonna make these eyebrows come down, down towards the center. Changes the whole face, All right? He looks a little bit shy, a little bit worried. This person looks evil. They're smiling, but they're like mad. Same thing with the sad ones. Watch this, I'm gonna have this one come up. These eyebrows come up. Oh, this person is sad, I think. But if you make the eyebrows come down, he looks mad instead of sad. And that's the only difference there. So for this one, I'm gonna put um, worried. You could put shy if you want, S-H-Y. For this one, I'm gonna put evil, because he's laughing, but mad. Now, I'm gonna post, if you take another quick, let's go back to the Mona Lisa for a moment. Look at her face. What is her expression? People say this painting is so mysterious because you can't tell the expression. It looks like she's smiling, but where are her eyebrows? Are they up, are they down? Is she, is she happy or is she evil? Is she mad? She has no eyebrows. And I think that's a big part of the reason her expression is so mysterious, is that she has no eyebrows. According to a paper written by Mrs. Rose, who has a master's degree in fine art, Italian women used to shave off their eyebrows so that men could not tell what they were thinking, so they could keep their thoughts secret. You could not tell their moods, all right? So now we're gonna quickly come back to this drawing here. And since we got four faces, we're gonna practice making some different kinds of faces. So I'm gonna finish these two noses down here. Okay, try to use different shape for the nose. Why not? I'm just gonna use an oval on this one. All right, I'm gonna jump around a little bit. I'm gonna put ears. Your ears should be about even with your eyes. If you notice on most people, your ears are maybe slightly lower than your eyes, all right? But that's about where they are. Because watch, I'll try this. I'm going to put the ears where they should not be. What if I put the ears way down here? That looks pretty weird, right? Doesn't look right. Looks funny. Looks strange. Looks like he's looking up, maybe. Here, I'm going to put the ears back where they belong. Since this dude is, is, is mad, I'm going to make him a tough guy. I'm going to give him an earring. I'm going to give him a scar. All right. I'm also going to give him, ooh, watch this. What if I give him some teeth? But he can't control his temper, so he's missing a few teeth. This guy gets in a lot of fights. 
All right. Now I'm gonna come back up to my worried man. How the heck is worried hair? Check this out. I think worried hair could be like this. Kind of funny hair. He's having a bad hair day, all right? And then for the evil guy, what would evil hair be? Watch this. He have one of those old fashioned mustaches the villain has. I'm gonna give him a top hat, an oval with a cylinder. All right, now watch this, really get a good evil look. I'm giving him that one eyeglass, old fashioned, that's called a monocle, okay, with a little rope. Ooh, he needs this, a little pointy beard. Pure evil, this dude, all right? I'm gonna fix his eyes, I'm gonna finish him. And draw a little line for the eyes, right? Okay, this guy, he said, Let's, what kind of hair can we give him? I, I know a lot of my students like to do this. I'm going to give him a mohawk. All right, so here's a mohawk. He's a bit of a punk rocker, but he lost his concert tickets. So he said, near your neck would be like that. Okay, my mad guy, he hangs out on the dock. So he's got like a, a night watch cap on. And I'm also gonna give him like a big boil on his face. And he didn't shave, cause he's that kind of guy. So what I want you to do, you don't have to copy these faces exactly. I want you to get four very different looking faces, all right? You can give him whatever kind of hat you want, whatever kind of face you want. This guy has no neck, okay? This guy would have like a pointy suit on. If you got some good ideas, get some ideas. Don't be afraid to search the internet. My worried guy, maybe he's got a really thin neck, all right? He's got to get to the gym, okay? So give this a shot. I'd like to see four different faces, but do this trick with the eyebrows, okay? So you get the four different expressions. Thank you.